Welcome to the Tupperware University Lead Yama. So in this segment, we're going to cover what kind of materials do I bring with me on my Tupperware parties. So the focus is always to date, invite, recruit. So I'm going to start with inviting people to our guest events or to the Montreal showroom. I will always have with me the guest invitation with a visual of the Montreal showroom if they were to come there. And I will encourage them to come with a friend or more and show them what I would offer them if they were to come with a friend or two at the Tupperware uh, showroom or guest event or GPS or whatever event you choose to invite me to. What else do I bring with me? I'm going to bring in a Tupperware refrigerator will look like, an image what a Tupperware modular make pantry will, will, will look like, and an image of what a Tupperware freezer looks like if they were to be equipped with the four Tupperware systems. That helps to create what their own homes would look like. What else would I bring with me? I would bring the current uh, date gift, date me gift, and I would offer one date, dating gift if they were to date a party in the 28 days. If they were to date a party in 21 days, I would offer them two. In 14 days, three. And if they were to date a party in seven days, I would offer them all four. So that encourages them to date in close. I would also bring the equivalent of hosting, host planning materials. The brown envelopes for the friends that help them pick out outside orders, the planning sheets, and the envelopes for the hostess, the equivalent of people in attendance. This has helped me in the past create the ability to date more than one party, or you know, sometimes I've left my home and I said, oh, I hope I date at least one. When, you, when the hostess tells you, I expect 10 people, and I bring 10 envelopes to date two becomes very easy. Often they're already waiting in line to date, to date a Tupperware party with me. I will also bring with me the Tupperware lottery. And for those that want, as a future Tupperware host, I will encourage them to sell Tupperware lottery. We will cover this in another segment of our videos. The monthly brochures, the catalogs that are, are, are right now with us, and my catalog is divided, this is my own catalog, that is divided to cover parts of the catalog that is relevant to the Tupperware party of the evening. So example, if I've done the simple salsa party, which is the simplest party that I encourage you to do when you're starting Tupperware, I will point to them in the catalog that the Rapido Chef, the Quick Chef, is $83. But as a Tupperware hostess, I come back and I remind them that they can get it for only $10 in this opportunity kit. So it's wonderful to walk them through the catalog, especially the segment where they see all the advantages of being a Tupperware hostess. So if, if I omitted to talk about the 50% or uh, the thank you gift just for selling $300, they will read it themselves in there. I will also bring with me the menus I have chosen uh, that are convenient for me. Like everybody, I go on my Tupperware Lady Emma site. We have it in English and in French. And I'm going to create my own menus. Later, I will talk to you about if they choose other than the simple salsa, whether other accessories I will need to bring depending on the menu they have chosen. I bring with me also the uh, kit game. This is very important to date parties. I bring obviously the order forms. Huh? And the famous zester, which a lot of people say, oh, it's too tiny. But believe me, the zester still today, 69 years later, is the most loved gadget we can give our customers. And in the back, there's the 21 ways we can use this gadget. When it comes to the Tupperware treasure items, I always say to my consultants, make sure you explain them before giving them out because they're so incredible. So people absolutely love our key chain holders. Uh, they love our funnel. I encourage them to buy in, in bigger quantities because they save money also. So the big gallon of canola oil and they transfer into smaller bottles. We also have the mini one for vinegar in the tiny bottles and salt and pepper so they really want to have both. And my ways of giving them will be very different. You'll see uh, later on in the Tupperware demonstration. The famous um, grapefruit eater. But you know, I don't use it for grapefruit. I tell them I use it for stuffed peppers. If you're trying to cut out that middle of the stuffed pepper, very difficult. This is much easier. Makes a clean cut and removes all the white veins inside that make your stuffed pepper a little bit bitter. This is a great way to uh, use them. I love to explain my two scoopers. I call them my about one cup 
uh, scoopers. So these are for the rectangulars and the square modular mates. These are for the ovals, super ovals, which enables us to, to pick up about uh, a cup of, let's say, flour. So I always tell them if I'm making an apple crumble, I'm not going to use measuring cups. About a cup of oats is just fine. I'm going to have here the melon baller uh, uh, gadget here. Everybody wants one of those. The, um, the spoon that replaces the wooden spoon with the hole in the middle. And I remind them that any cakes we do that has fruit or vegetables and pancakes, we need to mix with one uh, a hand spoon and with a hole in the middle to put air in that batter. So like carrot cake or like banana cake, this is the, school, the mixing spoon I would need. The Tupperware knife, of course it's for cheese, but mostly when I do fudge or maple fudge, and, and when we see each other the next time, you'll see I can cut directly in my Tupperware products and won't, won't scratch my products. And one of my favorites for my cappuccinos, to put a little bit of cacao on my cappuccino, or just a little bit of, of powdered sugar over my desserts, or just infuse some uh, tisane uh, in hot water, thanks to these little items like this, and makes a world of a difference. So stay tuned for the next part of our Tupperware party.